Welcome into my office. I'm Brian. Let's now take a look at this really pleasing group of 48 of these Arbuckle coffee cards that were distributed as premiums uh, in Arbuckle's coffee. Uh, there are 50 in a complete set and there's 48 in this lot and so this is the vast majority of them. You'll notice that every each state is surrounded by uh, vignette views and scenes of uh, the types of activities which the state is known for. These are beautifully chromolithographed, a nice card there of Colorado, 194,000 people uh, in the state at this time. There's Pikes Peak, there's California, like so, and there's the Golden Gate, that looks like Alcatraz right there, and there is a test of wine, and here's Arkansas and Arizona. I'm going to show you every card in this lot. They are uh, not mint. There are some cards that have tiny little uh, pulls, or this one here has a little split at the edge, and some of them have slightly, uh, slightly little rounded corners, so just please know that if you require your cards to be sharp and mint, uh, it won't be these, but you can see that they are overall pleasing. It's a nice group of cards. I think when I went through them, we'll come across it here. There may be one, this is interesting, the population of Alaska at this time was, uh, looks to be 33,000. There's American whalers right there and seals. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's Kentucky and here is Kansas. But, you know, uh, for myself, for instance, for me, I like these cards and I would be happy to have them in my collection. I am not a stickler for mint. Uh, I actually don't agree with that whole approach. Uh, look at this. This card's a little bit soiled. I think that things that survive with evidence of time and age and handling are, to my way of thinking, uh, as desirable as something that's perfect. Uh, this is interesting here for Alabama, uh, without getting into uh, the minutia of is there a tiny nick or is there a tiny flaw somewhere. Uh, these, are, these are very nice. I like these. If you're a reasonable collector and a reasonable person, I think you should be quite happy with these. And you get them all at once, too. These were issued in a booklet format, but the backs of the cards on those is different from these, and they don't, the backs don't correspond to the fronts. Um, this is the nation's capital right here. And here is Vermont, maple syrup, uh, of course, and maple sugar candy is, okay, here's Delaware, and oh, here we are in New Hampshire. Look, of course, Granite Quarry, and there's Mount Washington, and oh, look, there's Dover in bold right there. That's where we are right now in Dover, New Hampshire, right near the ocean and near the mountains and near Boston, actually. Here's Maine. We're right down here, so we're right next to the border of Maine. Yes, Maine's a beautiful state. The way life should be. There's New Jersey. This card here has a little bend in the upper left corner. Here is Rhode Island. Here we have Montana. Look at that population, 39,000 people. Gold mining there, yes. Today the population is probably 40,000. <laughs> Just a bad joke. Uh, Pennsylvania. Actually, I think Montana is a beautiful state. This card here has a little uh, chip at the lower right, so I want to be clear about that, so you know. Here's Tennessee. This is a nice card of Utah. Look at that. There we are, the Mormon Temple. 143,000 is the population of the state at this time. And here is Virginia with West Virginia. And here's Wyoming. Now this card, this is, uh, this is I think, the card I saw that has actually got some uh, edge damage. So. Be aware of that for Wyoming. And here's Washington State, like so. Other cards are almost like new, like this card's almost like mint. And uh, here's West Virginia, focusing here. And, oh yes, here we are, Texas and the cattle, of course. Wow, look at that, at this time, 18, so is there 18, I think these are 1880s. The population is one point, almost six million people at this date. That's, that's a lot in Texas then. Here's Wisconsin, a population of 1.3 million, my goodness. And there you have now seen each card, one at a time, and this lot is available online now from me, Brian DeMambro.